Views and opinions expressed on this channel are not and should not be considered as financial advice. I'm not a certified financial advisor and I'm not registered with the FSCA. In the month of September, I received seven dividends from these seven different companies that I am invested in. And had I had 100 shares in each and every company, I would have received a total of 9,664 rand in dividends alone for the month of September. Here's how it would have happened. First company, Multi-Choice. They declared a dividend which you might have seen written as at 565. What does this figure mean? It means that it's 565 cents. So how do we get the rand amount? Because we speak in rands, not necessarily cents, right? But it, when it comes to dividends, they always use cents. So we have to kind of get used to it. How you calculate it is you just take the cents and you divide them by 100 and that will give you the rand amount. So that would essentially be 5 rand 65 cents. Had I had 100 shares, I would times that amount by 100 and we would get 565 rand so i would have gotten 565 rand from multi-choice had i had 100 shares i would have gotten 1470 rand from sassel had i had 100 shares i would have gotten 650 rand from absa had i had 100 shares and from standard bank i would have received 550 rands we're not done from Sibanye still water I would have received 138 rands had I had 100 shares so clearly the dividend was quite small 1 rand 38 cents and from Tungela resources limited I would have received 6,000 rands had I had 100 shares <laughs> and from Aspen I would have received 326 rands right those are the seven companies that paid out a dividend to me and had I had 100 shares in each one of these companies that is how much I would have gotten and the total would have been 9664 rand just in September in those dividends and remember dividends doesn't mean that oh they take a portion of your shares no 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 you have the same number of shares you just now have a dividend that they pay out to investors, right? Usually from the profits that a company might make. A company might decide at their own discretion that they'll pay out a dividend and how many times in that year they'll pay out a dividend. There's also what we call dividend withholding tax. And that is an amount that SARS will take from that dividend before it even lands in your investment account. So that amount is 20 percent so we have to take the total of 9664 rands and times it by 0 0.2 that will give us the figure minus 20 percent which is the dividend withholding tax and it will be subtracted individually for each company that um has paid out a dividend to you right and the total post tax would have been 7,731 rand and two cents about. <laughs> now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm using futuristic grammar. <laughs> had I had, yeah? and I didn't have that. So how many shares did I have? And how much did I receive in dividends this September? Hence my feeling of underwhelmment and the need to make this video to create the awareness of why we should focus on having enough shares in certain companies that do actually pay out dividends. So let's go back to the first one. That was multi-choice. Instead of 100, I had 3. Cecil. Instead of 100, I had 43. Not so bad. Absa. Instead of 100, I had 12. Standard Bank, instead of 100 shares, I had 17 shares. Sivanya Stillwater, instead of 100, I had 69 shares. Tungela Resources Limited, 
a moment of silence. Instead of a hundred, I had nine shares. Despicable. <laughs> and Aspen, instead of a hundred, how many shares did I have? You guessed it, another nine shares. Horrible. <laughs> so post tax, in total, the total dividends that I received post the 20% dividend withholding tax, 1,220 rand and 42 cents versus 7,730 something rands. Uh uh, something has to change. And some of these companies, honestly, the share price is not like in the thousands and like get buying one share is that expensive no it's not it's just that i had not had a build your shares shareholding approach to my investments my approach was more hey this company hey this company hey, 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 hey. and before you know it your portfolio is just full of different companies and when dividends get paid out some companies don't pay out dividends and i do invest in those companies as well that don't pay out dividends yet maybe later on at a later stage they'll pay out dividends but um i see potential in them and that's why i'm invested there right so it does not mean that if a company doesn't pay out dividends you don't have to invest in it but those companies that do pay out dividends let's focus a bit more and make sure that we build our shareholding so that when dividends of amounts such as 60 bucks are being paid for one share you're not sitting there thinking oh snap i only had two shares right be that person who can say i had a hundred and beyond yeah i had a hundred and beyond yeah look at me look at me hey look at me look at me <laughs> And then the dividend withholding tax will take that smile away. But hey, 7,000 versus 1,000? Mm -mm, this is heartbreaking. So essentially, guys, when you are investing, ensure that you follow what I said. What did I say in my September investment video? What did I say? We're going to flex with now. We're going to be those Excel sheet holders. You know, we have an Excel sheet that, that, that we make ourselves and write down the different companies that you're invested in write down the amount of shares that you hold and every time when you invest or you're about to invest look at those companies that you can see her now i have a very low shareholding here and i need to build the amount of shares that i have in those companies all right thank you guys for joining me today on chat with this uh you can find me on Instagram, financial chats underscore this. Uh, we have a ritual. If you were having something to drink while you were watching this, let's cheers. Tip it to the screen. Kitching, kitching, kitching. And cheers. Sip. It's just water. <laughs>